Okay, video today, we're going to have a go at fitting this snorkel raised air intake on our Nissan Navara MP300. So Ian's just modelling it there just to show you what we're going to fit, just so that you know what we're up to. So obviously you're going to have to sort of put some holes in your wing and put a couple of mounts there. There's a little bracket that goes there and we're going to show you how to do that. But, um, right, if you open the bonnet Ian, let's show them the big butt. Hold well on, that came out wrong, didn't it? The big reason why we're not supposed to be doing that. Um, right, so obviously the snorkel comes down, and if we have a look at the inside of the snorkel on the table, we'll have a look at the kit in a minute, but basically your air intake, oh, where are we, is here, and obviously, well, sorry, sorry, your air intake is at the top, it comes down, and then it comes, I'm not very good on this camera today, and it comes in through the, um, through here, and it's supposed to go, We've got to drill a hole in the wing here is what you're supposed to do and then it comes through but when we look at it it's a total nightmare right reasons it's a total nightmare the hole comes through here now in the inner wing you've got the washer bottle that Ian's pointing to there runs you can just see it. it runs along yeah you can see it runs all the way along the under here in the inner wing Ian's gonna get us some light so we can see the plastic you can see the white plastic, it runs all the way along here, right where you're drilling. Second problem, your main ECU is hidden under this little cover that Ian's going to show you. This, we believe, is the engine ECU, right, with a massive wiring in going into it from that side. You've got to relocate that, you've got to pick that up, spin it round and plonk it in down behind here. And also, you've apparently got to remove some ABS module here. So we're like, whoa, this is scary. And then we looked at it and we thought the main air intake. So this is the air box here with the air going into the engine. And there's a little pipe coming up here. Let me see if I can get this on the camera. It comes up here and it comes in to this little scoop here. So actually you could get water up to the, the top of your grill here and your engine would still be fine. It would still be sucking the air in through this little letter box here. So we have decided, and there are people, uh, actually we've got to do a little bow, haven't we? Let's see if we can do a bow on this camera, look. We've got to do a bow to all the Australian dudes out there that fit the snorkels properly, do the air intake. And actually what they're doing in Australia is they're replacing this whole air box with a special aluminium one, relocating everything, and hats off to them, that is the proper way to do it. But we are going to do a, a bit of a, what words we say? We're just going to do it the sort of soft road way rather than off-road way. And we're going to fit a snorkel to our car purely for looks. Is there any other advantage of having a snorkel? I can't see it there. Maybe you could like use it as a pipe holder or something. But anyway, so we're going to show you how to fit. But our video is self-confessed, a cosmetic fitment of the spoiler only. So having said that, let's go and look at what we've got in the kit. So in the kit... We have got a snorkel, and it's got the end cap here, and with air intake. And there's always a good debate, and add some comments below. Should this face forward or backwards? We get the, some say, well, if you have it forward, you get the ram air, and other people say, well, you get all the dirty air. You need it backwards so that you're not sucking the dust. But there we go. And as it's not sucking any air in, I don't suppose we're that worried. Right, so you've got your snorkel, you've got your cap, you've got a little hose clip here. Um, to join the two together you've got the windscreen pillar a pillar mounting bracket and some bolts that bolt into these little captive holes here and you've got some spacers and the screws to screw in to the a pillar you've then got these little grub screws here and washers and nuts that bolt from the inner wing into the snorkel to keep it there got a template that Ian's designed on the laser that hopefully will get you drilling your holes quickly and in the correct place. Right, then there's some bits we don't need. Now, if you were doing it, but actually we looked at if you were going to do it properly, and we're not sure these bits that come with the kit, we couldn't work out how good they would be anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Like a... So there are some useful bits here if you want to try and construct an air duct, and good luck with that. And Again, send us some pictures or give us some comments if you do decide to use these to connect it all up. 
you're going to need some masking tape, a drill for drilling the holes, um, a socket set, some of the keys are Allen keys in the grub screw, so you'll need a little hex head. So not too tool intensive. So having said that, should we make a start on this? Right, enough talking, let's do some work. Right, and do you want to grab your... Well, first we need to prep this. Okay, go on then. Ah, yes. Now, yeah, so to save us drilling... Oh, where's my camera gone? To save us drilling a big hole in the wing, we're going to lop this bit off here. So I'm not in the right side of the light. There you go. So... We don't we need to do it to this one. We don't we need, need to just do... used uh, one of these vibrating... Vibrating right? tools, they're super cool. And, and you, you just, just... get in all the way around the edge. Trim out, or you could use a saw or a file, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, Blue Peter style. Ian's done one already. Look at that. So we've got that. We've assembled it. We've got the cap on. Oh, my camera's catching up with me. We've got the cap on. And we have done a super neat job of that. Again, we're not too worried because there's no air going in this one on our cosmetic only look. So yeah, we've got to make sure we drill the, right, the holes in the right place. So Ian's going to grab the masking tape and the stencil. And let's see if this works. So, we've tried to work out the best places to locate this stencil, and we've come up with what we think is an ingenious idea. <laughs> it was my idea. Right, so. Tear a couple of bits off. Oh, like a pro. Yeah, because you need like six hands to do this. An extra set of hands is probably going to be needed for this job. Right, so I'll. So we've got these little, so in the laser, and when we laser cut it, we've sort of created these little crease lines that you can I've create these flaps. scored it with a Stanley just to help it fold easier. So not cut all the way through, just taking the, just cut the And there's edge. a little flap at the top. And the idea but is these. Be, I don't know if you can see that, it will be a perforated Ooh, let's have a line. Look. Ooh, I don't know if the camera's got that. It might have it on. If I look in the right place, it probably helps. But there is a little perforated line and we'll see that later where that's used. So the flaps flap over the edge of the wing. So if you look here, Ian's got it over that. So it forms a way of locating. And this flap here flaps behind the, and that should then give you the location you need. Um, there's also, it, it does follow the wheel arch. You can see that curve there while Ian's grabbing the tape. It does follow the wheel arch there. So if all the stars align, you should have it in roughly the same place we do it in this video. Ian's taping in place. Right. So that's given us. Now, we could, we could, if you're really keen, you could put some masking tape under these locations. You could mark it with a little bit of China graph pen and put the, because when you go to drill, that'll be easier to drill because it, it can slip, but the masking tape gives it something to seat in. Right. Before we go too far and start drilling my car, Ian's going to just offer it up. Now, the little score line that you can't see that is in the template, you can actually line up the edge of this with that score line and you can check that it's in the right place. Now, the thing to watch that if you get it wrong is here, when you open the door, is it, you see how close that could get. Um, so just check roughly that we're okay, because you can always elongate these holes, it's not too much of a problem, but just check it looks roughly okay. Right, then with that out of the way, we're going to drill these holes. So Ian's going to grab the drill. But you'll remember we talked about earlier this washer bottle that sits handily, not, um, all the way along here. So if you get too handy with a drill, you're going to drill straight through and add some auto drain holes to your windscreen washer tank. So we've designed this ingenious drill bit here with an old Sharpie pen to form a depth stop. So it's only going to go this. So yeah, you can see there that that's just an old sharpie pen um, and we've got a seven mil drill on that one seven, seven millimeter yeah. right so here we go so now we're going to try and drill these holes obviously they're slotted you're going to try and get them roughly in let me come out on this side in we could send a punch them again if we're worried about it Ian's such a professional he doesn't need center punches oh how far behind is that? Miles well, off on that uh, Miles, one. Uh, that one's not a scary one, all right. Look at that, like a pro. 
so I tend to creep a little bit because you are on quite a bit of a curve. Curve, right? yeah, you want to get the drill sort of perpendicular. Looking good. So if you're super keen, um, you could put some paint, primer, black paint, anti-corrosive thing because you have effectively exposed those to the elements. And what we should do perhaps is put some silicon, should we put a tube of silicon with it and you can silicon around those nuts and it will protect this from oh, weathering. So, so we, we should now have our, we're done with the template now, we've massacred our wing. Obviously if you're doing it for real with the air intake, you're going to have to drill a massive hole there, but we're not man enough for that. Right then. So what? So now I reckon we could put the studs in the... Right, so now we're going to grab those studs. Now, so the studs, can I just grab one while you put that one in here? So these studs are... In one end, you've got the hexagonal end there, if I get it right. And on the other end, you haven't got a hexagonal end. Obviously, you, the hexagonal end allows you to tighten it up. I'm sorry if I'm teaching my grandmother to suck eggs here, but... Right then. There we go. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do it and film it, not doing a good job. Right. Now you could put, again, another pro tip. You could put a bit of Loctite thread lock in these, just to stop them coming loose. Right then. We're ready for the big reveal. So we'll just test fit it now. Again, I think we're going to put a bit of silicon around when we do it later. So we're going to try and get those, get those studs in. Oh, right, how's he done? He's closed. He's closed, but no banana. Bottom one's in. Bottom one's in. It just needs a bit of a... Might need to just file them out. Take a little bit of but they are. They are nominally, right? It does hold itself. It does hold itself. Oh, right, so we'll pretend they're all in beautifully, but we might actually just quietly off camera just put a little file in there. So we'll get that done and then we'll come back and we'll start looking at how we're going to attach this bracket. Okay, so we now need to fit this bracket. So if you come and have a look, the bracket is going to go up under here. It's we all get a different colour car, it's hard to see on the black. Um, it's going to go there. And then we've got three spaces because there's a bit of a gap here and we've got to drill three holes in it. So, we're going to start off... Oh, drop the pen. Right. I'm going to start off just putting a bit of masking tape along this area here. Now, it's kind of tricky because you... You've sort of got everything in the way of where you want to go. So the snorkel we've just got hooked on those four screws. Oh, we did, we just there, took right? them out a bit, didn't we? To nine millimetres in the end. We yeah, just... it, it comes with some pretty big um, Wash. penny washers. So. so what we're going to do is we're going to draw on here where those, where those two... All right, I'll let you get in there. So if you look, I've just drawn these two slots in line with these two and holes. From where I'm stood, you're about five mil off. Am I five mil off? Wow, oh, the camera, camera is. is. Hold on then. God, it's so critical. Right then. There you go, that's professional, that is. That's dead in line. It's a parallax error if you've got any error. Then what we're going to do, we're going to demount the snorkel. There we go. Now, if we just score the tape there and smudge the paint nicely. Right. We want this bracket now mounted on on here in line with this this edge here you can't see anymore but obviously we need to make sure these two black lines line up with those highly accurate marks i made on there earlier so we are the right so we are going to drill those three holes there right. let's have a go now sometimes on the Defender, we did a video fitting the snorkel on the Defender, and this steel was really tough. It was like they'd used some high tensile, because there's a lot of strength in these pillars. So it might, 
It might be that this drill we've got, because we haven't got one of the cobalt drills in, it might be this struggles, but let's have a look. Alright, there you go, that's through. Alright, you just want to go through the one skin. Now again, you have got airbags in here, but they're all under the other side of that. You've got three. As long as you go, don't keep, keep drilling. Keep drilling. So just be careful how excited you get there. Right now, I think we're going to get a bit of silicon, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab some silicon, and then we're going to mount these through here. But I'm going to put some silicon around here to stop water ingress and also try and protect this paintwork. Again, you could put a little dab of paint around these little screws here. So I'm gonna go and get the silicon and then come back. Right, so we're gonna add a tube of silicon to the kit, much like this, a tube of toothpaste. And we're just gonna splodge. There you go. Sod that around and in the hole. You're gonna do so on the wing or? Uh... Are you gonna, yeah, or no, I'll walk into it. I'm gonna, I'll leave that, we'll do that the next stage. Okay. But yeah, that, we'll keep that for later. Right, and then we're gonna Grab this. Oh, grab a screwdriver. Right. So now I've got the spacer on there. Right, let's see if I can find that hole. Where's that hole gone? Okay. Don't overdo it till we've got them all in. Right, I'll finish those other two off, get those in with the spacers, and then we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, so we tightened up the screws and we went to fit the snorkel and it was a bit tricky to align it all to be honest. So what we've done is we, what we did, sorry, we mounted these two rear bolts loosely first and then we swung the snorkel in um, and that seemed to give us a little more room. Um, but yeah, you might want to just do it a little more accurately than I did quickly on the video, marking that bracket check that bracket i think he's a little bit out as ian was alluding to um it seems to slit it doesn't really follow this line oh, quite so, yeah the of the pillar the it wants to be slightly more level so just just, just slightly. take your time there a little bit more than we're but doing you, in the video. you could mark the angle of that bracket if you traced it off of that flat edge there onto it but we got it in it's it's there so we're gonna tighten those bolts but obviously those screws, be careful when you tighten those self-tapping screws because you're only going through a thin layer and you've got the three of them. Don't over-tighten them or you will strip that. Um, you could insert, I mean, there are rivets there in the kit that came with the kit if you want to rivet them. There are pot rivets, which is a, a better option in many ways from waterproofing. So there's another option there. Um, the spaces that we found you need. Yeah. Um, the kit didn't come with spacers, so we've added the spacers. We couldn't get it to align um, without the spacers. So, right, we've got that done. We've got that done. We put some silicon around the holes here where we bolted this in um, to stop the water getting to those bits there. Um, next thing we've got to do is get under the wheel arch liner and put the nuts on the, on the underside of that. Now, we may have to do that before you tighten too much because the studs are going to be close to the water tank. So before you get too carried away, make sure you've got all four nuts and the washers on the inside. Now to do that, Ian, do you want to just talk us through quickly what you have to do on the wheel arches? So the wheel arch liner... You've got three of these T20 torque screws. Hold on, yeah, I'm there, yep. Yeah. One at the front here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one, just about... Just past 12? Yeah. And then one at like what, 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock there, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Um, three of those and then there are two 10 mil hex bolts. Yeah. Which go from the front bumper. Up into the... Up into the bottom of and the it, So two at the front, right? So yeah, and that gives you front, enough. And that you have you to like pop it out because it, it tucks into the lip of the wing. So you need to sort of untuck that. And then if you've got childlike hands, that should allow you to get up in behind there and get the nuts and washers on. There you go, go on and demonstrate your... Look at that. That's a very small gap to try and get into. That is, yeah. So that's going to be our fiddly bit. So rather than fearing Ian in some pain, 
we'll let Ian get on with that and come back and see how he gets on with that. So, it transpires is a little more difficult than we first thought. To get in behind this wing here is really quite impossible. We've, we've had a lucky break in a way, in that we found, and I might better get this, do you want to grab that light here? Let's see if we can get the angle right on this. But if I try and get the camera in there, there is a nut you might better see just under there. Probably not. Yeah, take your finger out of the way in. That's it. There is a nut in there that you can actually get from on top. So you can actually just skirt above the... So, we've got, in so we've got in one bolt. Okay, and we've got the silicon, which is going to pull all the silicon tight. And the silicon is going to hold it on a little bit. And we've got all the bolts going through. Now... Even the back one seems really, really tight to get to. Um, so I don't know if you've got any luck with that, Ian. But I, th I think we might end up just, just putting it on with the studs. Because the studs give it a lot of... You can stand on this. No problem, because the studs are taking the axial load. Yeah, the back ones are they're above the washer bottle. So get in, get in the, get to them. Yeah. It's just the access. It's just access. It's just... Um, a tricky, tricky thing. Um, yeah, because you're trying to get behind Erie and you're trying to, yeah. you're trying to get there. So we are going to leave it with the one bolt on it and the silicon. So make sure you put your silicon on there. We've got the two bolts that end. Um, but the silicon is going to. But make sure you've got it secure and check it periodically to check it's not loose. Um, we've got the snorkel on. We've got the top on. Put the bonnet down in, and I think we've got. Albeit purely cosmetic. It was a cosmetic. Again, not our finest work this one. But hopefully we've shown you some difficult, difficulties. We've probably put everybody off ever buying a snorkel for the MP300. But if you want the look, that's what you've got to do. So there we go. How to fit your snorkel on the Navara MP300.